you should be good to go. And everyone, uh, if you have any questions throughout the session, please drop in in the Q and A. And you know, if you want to chat with each other or as Mansi asks questions, and if you you know if it requires for answer, you can drop them on the chat section. Okay, we'll use Q and A for questions and chat for chatting. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Sandesh. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so uh. Just a, a bit about myself. I'm a self-taught designer, a product designer working with Mindtree currently. I carry around four plus years of experience working in different industries and with different domains. And today we are going to discuss something about storytelling. So I want all of you to chop uh, the lights around you. This is going to be interesting a bit. So I want all of you to close your eyes for a moment. And then slowly and gently open your eyes. Now you are just seeing the yellow screen and it gives you different kind of energy and vibes around you. So yellow represents the color of energy, the youthfulness. Okay. And now we are moving to a different color. So the energy around you is completely different now than the previous one. The blue color represents the peace around you. Are you feeling any difference? Please do let me know in the chat box. And slowly and steadily, you have a different colored screen. The pink color. And the energy around you is again very different. Okay, so I want you to experience the different emotions with different colors. Okay, you can write your experience of this small exercise in the chat box. Now we are moving to the different agenda. So the reason of doing this exercise is to make you understand how small things and small incident around us creates a huge impact in our, our uh, perception and our feelings. So this color things, uh, color plays very important role in our life. And by this exercise, you came to know that you are feeling different emotions. And same is with stories because they create emotions. So our today's agenda is to understand what is storytelling, why we use storytelling, and how to use storytelling in our product designer role. Okay, moving ahead. World's shortest story, if anybody is known, is this. For sale, baby shoes never worn. And it has been awarded uh, with a great prize to Hemingway uh, many years back. I don't remember the date, but yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, uh, this is a small exercise for all of you. Uh, do you guys have a diary and pen? If not, then please grab it in, in just five minutes because we are going to do something very interesting today. Just please let me know in the comment section if once you all of you are ready. Awesome. So this exercise, um, we are going to do one thing very differently. Okay, you all know how to sketch. Is it right? You are like nobody is having any issues. Okay. So we'll uh, draw a flower. Okay, that is a very like preschool exercise but the twist here is you have to draw the flower by looking at the ceiling not directly into the paper so, so we'll just have one minute for this exercise so it's 8 19 currently by 8 20 we'll finish this exercise so you all just draw a flower on a piece of paper by looking at the ceiling okay and here we go in three two and one and I think everybody is done with the sketch. Everyone completed? You can share 
it in the chat box if you have completed the task. Completed. Awesome. Okay. So do you see any difference in your sketch? Uh, you can let me know in the comment section. Is it a crooked flower? Oh, somebody wrote terrible flower would be an understatement. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. Anybody can write in the comment section about the experience of this task. So um, I just wanted to let you know by this task that uh, you drew the flower by looking at the ceiling, which is a very terrible or crooked flower. But if you would have paid attention on the paper and then you could have drawn the flower, then it would turn into a beautiful sketch, right? This makes us understand that certain things are happening around us, but we are not paying attention to it. We are not paying attention to detail around us. But if we try to just do, uh, like be attentive of what is happening around us, we can connect the dots of many things. And this is what I think storytelling in design is for us. So you are going to understand through different exercises on different fundamentals of storytelling. So let's back get back to the slide. Okay, so what is storytelling? And why uh, we are emphasizing so much on storytelling and design and product and the processes and what not. So the Steve Jobs said the most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation that is to come. And we know, we all know that Apple have been master in the storytelling. Be it their brand values, be it their uh, logo, be it their brand proposition, everything, value, vision, everything is related to it. So if you know a better storyteller around you, please do let me know in the comment section. For me, my personal storyteller, I feel, is Imtiaz Ali because his, his art speaks much more, uh, like his art speaks in much more depth to me. And that is why we all love his films, be it YJHD or be it uh, the other, other movie, the Tara and Ved one, I forgot the name. They are beautiful. So storytelling is everywhere and not just in design you might have experienced um a little details around you and you can relate to it now stories in design we are going to discuss specific about stories in design and why it is important uh because first of all since ages stories have been our master tool in creating mental models and creating certain tasks very easy. If you know that, uh, if you all have watched DDLJ, right? And you still know after these many years that this was the story and this was the ending which happened because your mind is um, in a certain way that is able to retain information in form of stories. That is a powerful tool for all the humankind. And it's been since ages. Now we can apply these fundamentals in our process so that our design and our outcome becomes more beautiful and intuitive. I'm really sorry. It helps designer to think from real time user perspective. His or her thoughts and solutions should align with the user's expectations. Now, apart from this, there are certain advantages of storytelling is that it creates the information in a very digestible format. You could retain your information uh, in bits and pieces in forms of stories. Now the why part. As I said, basically, it creates digestible information, make options very clear and helps in decision making and making our mental models create our mental models in a very proficient way. So this is the why part. And other than that, there are a number of why parts which you will come to know after this session. 
after doing certain exercises now the main elements of storytelling are these seven which is aristotle seven elements of storytelling now this is since ages even shakespeare's stories like romeo and juliet are based on these seven elements which are very profound and which are the fundamentals of it so we'll discuss one by one of what it is so i'll uh walk you through the example of chrome we all are using the chrome browser in our day to day life okay so the first part is plot now uh, we'll ask certain questions in form of the user and our user is chrome uh so what is the character doing our character is searching what are the goals that they are trying to accomplish is search and find and how do they achieve it with the help of search bar okay so this is the plot and these are the questions we need to ask the user please let me know in the chat section if you find any difficulty in understanding or if you want me to make any clear statement to you please do let me know in the chat section and i want sandesh to let me know if there are any certain questions i can stop and answer your questions uh, good to go everyone okay uh, now moving on next is characters which is users or our target audience now characters are just your users who are going to use your product so in chrome with addition of the target audience search bar google voice assistant uh, even suggestions act as characters and then comes the theme now theme is nothing but how you approach to the solution we all know that chrome you uses a unique way to solve users problem it has their own um, you know search history it has their own um, you know things which are there which the users have already used it their own algorithm so it gives uniqueness to the chrome browser this is just a simplified view of it which i have taken from the internet and uh, dialog now dialogue is nothing but tone of voice and communication i know this information is going to create lot of chaos in your mind like what are the seven elements that i'm speaking about but do not worry these are just some fundamentals that i'm trying to explain with an example but after that we are going to do a very interesting activity which will you know these all things will try to make sense in a bit so just grab your seats don't get bored and if you're getting bored let me know in the chat section okay now in this dialogue tone of voice and communication in this chrome has a unique tone of voice it also maintains consistency you can see chrome handles a casual at the same time engagement in its communication tone now these are some common elements that you are seeing apart apart from anything you search okay these are some consistent design elements that they are using which is very important because you are giving your user a consistent tone in your design language so it is also one of the usability heuristic next is melody which is nothing but a recognizable factor for the user to understand okay if these colors have been used then this is definitely google and google is master in that okay so the fun fact uh, google Well, even if the misspelled is there, there are around twenty-one websites which Google have patented with their wrong names even. So even if the Google, uh, if the person searches G triple O G L E, then also Google will come. So this uh, gives the user a recognizable factor. Next comes the decor, which is very important for all the designers. Um, by following certain steps and processes. then comes the visual design where we try to beautify of the information we have got in a very digestible manner and google chrome have been using these elements very cleverly the color palette and their uh, design language is very consistent across all of their different apps and different uh, web apps sorry yeah and next comes a spectacular element which is uh, the surprising and element uh, impressive elements that they have been using let's we all know like whenever our chrome browser is not running up and running we'll see a little t-rex running and we play tend to play the game so this is the aha element which 
they have been added into their product to make user feel very um, interested even if the browser is not running and this was it about the seven elements of the storytelling please let me know in the comment section if you have not understand anything or if you have any questions i will go to the comment section people seem to probably have understood uh, they have they don't have any questions so we might continue once see if there is any questions i'll take them up uh, during our q and a okay sure and now comes the brand as i say uh, please let us know in the comment section who are your favorite storyteller or what brand you follow the most uh, which you feel that they are best in their market i feel one of them is apple for sure because their products their brand value their vision everything is very unique and very engaging to the user i feel emotional connection with them uh and next comes another brand fitbit they have doing amazing job so uh, the little story about this fitbit watch is when google uh, sorry when apple launched their apple watch it was not affordable for all of its users so other brand came in to picture and there are certain brands that we are also using uh, like people around you are using like fitbit because they promote healthy way to uh, a healthy they promote healthy life choices and all they also come in different brand colors and you can just you know change the uh, bands which are available in the market and uh, they have analog and digital ui and everything and in a very affordable manner in a very affordable cost so this is noise watch <clears throat> so these are few brands which have been using storytelling in a very different way so why we are discussing this is because uh, there are certain things around you which are important for you to take into account and also uh, put these things into your process and in your design so that you can create an emotional connection with your user so the main aim of storytelling is to create a emotional connection with your user so that they get um, to use your product in a very frequent way now tools for understanding and clarity there are certain tools that you can use uh, in your design process first is storyboarding it is a technique we all designers know you can have your users on board after user interview you can create certain user journeys you can make a story with your user as a character and then after that i feel that uh, you know the empathy comes into picture after story board storyboarding i feel uh, that um, as a designer i i feel connected to my users in a different way and the user person the character for your story user journey is the plot or the theme that we have discussed and mood boards uh, um, you can have the visual ui palette whichever you like into your design and you can use it by uh, using certain kind of color palettes which can be unique for your product now is the game time so again grab a pen and paper and we will play a very amazing game now uh just let me know whenever whenever you guys are ready you can play some jazz music so that people don't get bored to keep the volume of the music very low okay sure 
yeah. you people uh, it seems like they are getting very creative with their sentences and hence uh, you know maybe uh, he... they do not need music or maybe they need very little of it please okay yes sure Two minutes to go, guys. a minute to go Ten seconds to go guys done so time's over i am going to ask your answers your creative answers so people be ready uh okay yeah so every i hope that everybody has written uh, their keyword their prompts and the sentences out of those please let me know Uh, if the exercise is completed let's start dropping in our key keyword prompt word and sentences correct right i just read in the question answer session okay once you will take q and a towards the end yeah you may sure. do it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Uh, okay. Manthan, Manthan here is inquiring if we'll get the recording. Sure, Manthan. Uh, you will get the recording. Uh, you know, towards the end. Oh, we got. So, Mufaddal have written abstract was a keyword. The prompt was graffiti. Abstract graffiti has been plastered all, all over the walls. Hogwarts keyword. It was the prompt. Harry had an affinity to break the rules at Hogwarts. Awesome. So, uh, you have written correctly, and I am very glad that you have understood the activity. Uh, so, Vijay is writing key creativity. Keyword is creativity. Prompt is playful. creativity can solve lots of complicated problem in easy and playful way awesome so at least you have to write uh, the sentences for five keywords okay mm, good job vijay and mufaddal really uh, i'm very glad that you have completed the task 
other people please drop in in the chat your answers your thought processes that we can have like what is this activity is about shall has written art drawing okay art is more than just drawing artist so art is the keyword i feel right mm, an artist cannot be an artist with just art canvas the best thing about art is a blank canvas but what is the keyword here you have written the prompt art okay. is art, art is, is keyword yeah got it art is keyword these are the prompts perfect perfect yes you have written correctly uh, hadisa have written keyword games okay he is writing something awesome so i know that all of the people have quite understood the activity so what we just did was uh, okay so what we does uh, just did was reconstruction and reconstruction of the stories so in the first activity when i asked you to write few of the keywords from these images are these are uh, the pictures you have seen these are small information that you are trying to comprehend so you tried to describe each of the picture with a single word okay now after that word according to your understanding your thought process and uh, your mental model you made certain prompts and you then created few sentences out of it okay with help of the keyword and prompt so this is uh, you deconstructed the information then in you reconstructed it again so this is what actually happens when you are trying to incorporate stories in design users will comprehend information in the way they understand and then they deconstruct and reconstruct according to their mental model and this was the main aim of the exercise to make you understand about um, about the user behavior and about storytelling in general so i hope you guys enjoyed the activity and uh, you kind of understood the technicality of the storytelling now uh, we are going to conclude this session of what we did and um, how we can move ahead with the next session if if you people want so we understood what is storytelling why it is important and how we can use storytelling so there is no practical um, you know guide or best practices that you uh, follow like no general set of rules to do storytelling in design but there are certain things that you are doing it but unknowingly doing it so that is what these exercises were about uh, now then we try to understand of elements of storytelling there are total seven elements we tried to um, understand with the character called chrome in our case and then then there are certain tools and techniques that we can incorporate in storytelling like storyboard mood boards uh, user persona user journey mind mapping empathy um, and information architecture these are all the techniques that you are already doing in the design but from a dis different perspective but now you will be able to learn like how uh, the information you have to show to your users and then we try to have a quick task to make sense of what we did now the references i have written here uh, storytelling telling techniques and articles have been uh, uh, you know uh took from the internet from the different youtube videos and things like that so that is it uh, do you have if you have any questions any doubt regarding design regarding product you know regarding processes or anything you can reach out to me on my email address on my linkedin or also you can reach out to me for the mentorship uh, mentorship session on the adb list so i am open for the question and answers all right mansi uh, at this point of time uh, you may stop your screen share and uh, you know uh, you may turn on your video back again uh, yeah yeah great uh, thanks for the session today mansi uh, i think it was a uh, you know uh,
exciting one given that you know there was lots of uh, uh, you know activities involved and it uh, helped us i think uh, really take uh, an idea uh, you know juxtapose it with another idea and be able to you know uh, craft a story out of it and uh, you know that is uh, that was very interesting before we move to the q and a and you know start taking up questions uh, you know i'd request people who have questions uh, to also uh, post them there are few that we uh, you know received but you know people if you have uh, more questions please go ahead and shoot them uh, before we move to q and a uh, i have something exciting uh, that i want to announce to uh, the world we uh, pro app uh are launching something exciting uh, very soon and that's called as pro school so what is pro school if you ask pro school is a ui ux design training school to help designers get trained in turn and even work full time uh, we are currently offering a six month extensive ux ui design training program where four months will be taught by industry experts and mentors to help you gain a more in depth knowledge on ui and ux in the next two months, you'll be working as an intern with ProCreator, one of India's leading design agency. This will help you get the skills, experience, and confidence to work professionally. We will be posting the link in the chat box so you can fill up the form for enrolling uh, or showing your interest to enroll, and we'll reach out to you with more details around the curriculum, what will you get to learn, yeah? So interested people can, you know, uh, drop on, drop in their details in the link below. And also, you know, uh, I would uh, be posting uh, Manchi's LinkedIn uh, and ProApps YouTube channel in the, you know, uh, chat section so that you guys can go ahead and you know, connect with Manchi on LinkedIn. At the same time, uh, a recorded version of this uh, webinar shall also be posted on YouTube. Some of you have uh, questions around, you know, where this will come. It's in the next few days, you'll be able to see the recording on YouTube as well. So time for Q&A. Yeah, so Mansi, the first yeah. question uh, that we'll take up is, you know, uh, uh, how, how does storytelling help you, Mansi, to do your day-to-day -day job uh, better? Okay. Uh, so I'll give you a small example of how it helped me. I to be I want to be very brutally honest with you. Okay, uh, so Amo Dalvi, thank you for asking the question. So I'm a product designer working on a SaaS product currently with her legal domain. So there are certain things. Uh, so the our client is in the US, okay, and the domain is legal. So there are different jurisdiction that is happening in the US, and people have to register their company and do certain things of like paperwork uh, there but we are not able to understand it because for me i think uh, this legal and over all of these matters to my dad so how my manager is uh, you know making me understand certain user user journeys is through story so what we are doing is there is a character called uh let's say a. a is one character and he um is going to a character b for his paperwork and b is nothing but our client so how this process is going to happen is he making me understand through the story uh user journeys are important but before that if there is a uh, certain critical thinking that you have to do to come up with some solution you need to understand it in in the form of some story that makes you easier by, you know, understanding information and then uh, you have a certain approach to solve that pro problem with clarity. For that, I think um, we are using storytelling. And in design, I feel particularly is uh, definitely through certain uh, creating certain user journeys in a way that we understand doing empathy during user interviews and everything. So there is no perfect template to approach your problem and with storytelling or anything no but this is a, a mindset that you need to develop to approach a problem right uh, fantastic uh, you know uh, and uh, you you bring up an interesting point uh, and one other thing i think uh, our participants uh, may want to take away also is that you know uh, while you might use uh, you know storytelling uh, to understand a problem statement uh, in a better way or you know uh, develop characters and you know 
uh, develop stories as a result of those characters. At the same time, you know, as designers, you'd also often find yourself in, you know, uh, situations where you will be presenting your design concepts or your, you know, ideas uh, to stakeholders or clients. And in such cases also, having a, a storytelling approach to, you know, how you arrived at a particular solution, how did you consider different factors and how can you, you know, rationalize yourself also uh, is going to be a very important aspect uh, in a designer's job function. So great. Uh, another question we have is, you know, uh, can you give some tips uh, to use uh, storytelling in real world or in real projects? Uh in real world use this activities yeah sure so uh, the activity which we uh, did very recently the last one is uh, the reconstruction and deconstruction of the information that your mind is trying to do that okay and that differs with all of the users now let's say uh, some people like sunday the other people chose creativity game and uh, maybe sun rays or maybe some color like this so every user have different approach to the same information okay now this will bring you closer to your user group of finding some pattern in 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 your um, you know research while you are doing that so i think that is important to understand your user and how they are behaving with your product or with your platform this gives you a tremendous clarity on what and how we have to build the solution. So this is one thing. And the activity which we did is um, is a form of understanding the, the real world and the digital world. OK, uh, so the certain information, certain points were very clear for us, like we you define keyword with different prompts and then you created a sentences but are they matching with everyone no right because that is completely different according to different users i feel so i think yeah but if there is like the world or in projects you just need to understand your user and then the problem and you can maybe approach the problem in that way uh, these are my tips i feel great wonderful also, uh, you know, uh, we'll take one more question and then, you yeah. know, we'll uh, call it a wrap for the day. Uh, so what might people be telling, you know, uh, there, uh, you know, there's someone who has written that, you know, uh, I, I need to, I have received feedback, like, you know, I need to be better at my storytelling skills. So uh, if, 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 if someone uh, tells me to be better at my storytelling skills, uh, what are some key points that I need to focus on? Okay, uh, so as a designer, I feel everybody like all of the designers have portfolio, right? So some of the portfolio examples which I came across was like, they are, um, you know, the portfolio only tells the problem and just the solution to it. But the process of solving that problem was missing in some of the portfolios which uh, people were asking. So I think that is a, uh, that is the important point that you have to be have in your portfolio or in uh, whatever the solution that you are reaching i think that is the storytelling that you need to develop it i'm not saying to go portfolio in a very templated format or these are the processes that i try to follow research and empathy and information no i'm not saying that but you need to um, write it down in in a way that this is was the problem this is the way I deconstructed the problem. And this is how I tried to solve the problem. There are different approaches to a single problem, right? That you also need to mention it. So I think the process is here important. And I think this is where the storytelling skills come, be it in your portfolio, be it uh, when you are, um, you know, uh, answering or uh, making people understand about your design to your business, to your users or anyone. I think this, that is where storytelling comes. Uh, now I can give you an example, like Apple just launched Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. Just look at the advertisement on how they launched it. Recently, I came across a movie, uh, an advertisement, and it was written um, like in collaboration with Apple. And this 
advertisement is shot completely on iphone 14 under definitely the controlled conditions but this is how they are using uh, their marketing they are still creating brand proposition and value in a very different and unique way so this is the storytelling i will be interested to know more about uh, the device the product they they are launching i think these are some of the examples that you can look around you fantastic uh, thanks uh, for all this and people uh, you know uh, uh, it it it's uh, been a good time you know having you mansi today over here and uh, learning about storytelling and its importance and what to do and with this activities we will also be able to you know uh, you know come up with ideas uh, thanks for you know uh, hosting this uh, session and uh, what uh, we will do right now is you know uh, we will request people uh, to uh, enroll into pro school if you are interested where we will talk about you know ux ui design and we'll also be talking into deeper about the concept of storytelling and how you may use it on different aspects and different stages of you know your uh, design process so please do enroll into pro school uh, you know if you are interested and a recorded version of this uh, webinar shall also be you know uh, posted on youtube very soon so uh, watch out for this uh, and thank you for your time mansi uh, and thank you everyone for joining in we hope you have a good uh, you know afternoon morning or night wherever you joined us from thank you so much uh, we take your leave uh, see you tomorrow we have another exciting workshop lined up tomorrow evening as well so please do join in uh, watch out on our social medias uh, for uh, to understand uh, you know to understand more workshops uh, that are lined up uh, in the days and weeks to come uh, see you soon Bye bye